So last night I was getting ready for bed and I was kind of winding down and I happened to see online that there is a estate sale happening like two miles from my house. It's an older house and it's full of lots of old things. So of course it was calling to me even though I have plenty of work to do today. I mean, it's only two miles from my house. It won't take that long, right? <laughs> Yesterday I was actually thrifting with one of my good friends and I just knew when I saw this estate sale that she would be just as excited as I am so I sent it over to her and so she's gonna meet me over there but I thought I couldn't not bring you guys along too. Sometimes estate sales in our area can be a little overpriced but we're gonna check it out and see what we can find so let's go. What I found interesting at this estate sale was just how much of the stuff still had tags on it from an antique store or an antique auction or maybe a different estate sale. There was just boxes and boxes of plates or art or cups that still had tags on it. Some of them had information about when it was from and it looked like it had never been used. They had just bought it and kind of packed it away and it had been sitting around for quite some time. It was a treat in and of itself just to get to tour the inside of this house. I was honestly a little surprised by some of the detail in this house. I have been in tons of houses in our neighborhood and in our city and this one just surprised me a little bit. Uh, oftentimes these cottage styles in our town are a lot more simple but this one had a lot of really sweet beautiful detail. So I just got back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was that was a good call. I'm really glad I went. 
it was so much fun. I met my friend there and um, we both got quite a bit. I didn't get a crazy amount of stuff, but I got just some really good stuff and their prices were really reasonable. You never know. I was at an estate sale last summer in my same, very, very close to here also. And their prices were a little bit steep, I felt like, but they were really reasonable at this one. That house was just packed full of stuff. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. I also ended up spending way longer there than I thought I would. I think we were there for like almost three hours, like at least two hours. It was over two hours we were there. It was just so packed. There was so much stuff. I ended up doing like two really good laps of the whole house plus like certain rooms I would go back in and I definitely feel like I didn't even see everything so I might go back not gonna lie so they opened yesterday was their first day um, doing the sale and then today is Thursday and then they're also gonna do Friday and Saturday and I think my mom wants to go tomorrow anyway so <laughs> we might be going back but I still have a lot of work to do today and I know that if I even touch the stuff that I'm going to be so tempted to like clean it and style it and do all of the things with it so I haven't even let myself take it out of the car yet because I just know that I will get myself into trouble if I even look at it. So we're just gonna go ahead and make some coffee and get some work done and maybe, who knows, maybe I'll be taking you guys back with me tomorrow to see what else I get. So I went back again. I just couldn't help myself. My mom and my brother were talking about going today anyway and so I was like, well of course I have to go with you. I was still thinking about a couple of things that I saw that I left behind yesterday, so I went back again. This is definitely one of those rare estate sales. They're very hit and miss, you don't know what you're gonna find, but this house was packed with some, some good stuff, for real. So I could not help going back, of course. Anyway, on to the good part, let's do all. We'll start with one of my favorites. How cute is he? He's a planter. This this is a good reason why it's always good to go with a friend if you can because a second pair of eyes will do wonders. I would have completely missed him, but my friend Kristen who I went with yesterday, she spotted him like almost on the way out and she pointed him out to me knowing that I just would love him. And he was only a dollar I think, maybe two dollars at most. Like he is cracked, he is certainly not in perfect condition, but neither am I so you know. I would love to do a plant in him. That sounds weird. I definitely will do one that has its own container and can just sit inside because it's definitely got a big crack along the bottom and when I cleaned it yesterday, it definitely was like seeping water. So definitely don't want to keep anything that's currently wet or soaking in there, but I feel like he'll be cute to just put a little plant to pop in there. So obsessed, one of my favorites. All right, next up is this basket. I think I paid a dollar for it. Somebody definitely cut some flowers off of it or whatever, but the side is nice and clean. So I thought it would just be cute to hang up. I have some hooks up here by our back door and I thought it'd be cute to like put this up and put like random little things that kind of I end up leaving around. I just thought it'd be cute for that. Yeah, so who can say no to a cute straw basket for a dollar? And then I got a couple books. So one I just thought was pretty, and this is like a very classic book, you know, how to win friends and influence people. I definitely need to read that because I could use some pointers. <laughs> that was a dollar. I think basically all of the books were a dollar, which I did think for paperbacks, usually paperbacks are at other like thrift stores are either 25 cents or 50 cents. So. That is a little bit more, but she had three Agatha Christie's that I don't have. I just love Agatha Christie's are just such perfect like vacation reads. I love a mystery and she's the queen. She is the absolute queen. So couldn't help but grab those. I also grabbed this mess tangle of random little pom-poms, pom-pom trim. I don't have a definite use for them. But I thought they were cute. I thought maybe even at Christmas time, it'd be cute to just hang, hang them up. But yeah, that's that. Moving on to some bigger stuff. I got this picnic basket. Opens. It's a nice big, nice big size. 
I was doing some cleaning on stuff yesterday. Certain things I didn't want to bring in the house before I gave them a clean and I was doing some stuff outside anyway so I kind of gave it a little bit of a pressure wash which I know everyone's probably going oh my god you're not supposed to do that. I know but here's the thing. I found this out in one of their sheds. She had a lot of like picnic baskets that were in really good shape that were inside the house. This guy had been sitting in a shed clearly for quite a while. So it was kind of gross, a bit grimy. It was $3. So it's one of those things where I was like, well, I'm gonna see how it does. So I pressure washed it and then I let it sit in the sun for a couple hours and it dried out. And I think I am going to try um, maybe giving it just a very light sand because the pressure wash definitely pulled up some of the grain. I have some Danish oil for wood and I might just try that out. This is an experiment. Like I said, I could have bought the one of the pristine baskets that was inside, but I just thought that this had potential and I thought it'd be fun to kind of try to clean it up and see what I could do with it. And I kind of like that because then I can experiment and do these types of things with these projects and I'm not worried about messing up something that is was beautiful and amazing. You know, I kind of like that, so. I found this big old crock. Huge, it's so big. It does have a big crack in it. This guy was sitting outside in their yard. I got it for $3. So like I said, it's got a big old crack. I think I'm just gonna use it as a plant pot. Once again, I'm not going to plant something in it. I think I'm just going to sit a planted pot inside of it. I think that'll be really cute. That's my plan at the moment. I may change my mind, but that's what we're gonna try. All right, so this, I just, it's one of those things I couldn't pass up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it was so unique. So it is a hanging light. It actually has a spot for a light bulb and it's like wicker, but it plugs in. Like it doesn't have to be hardwired, which I thought was kind of nice because then I could put it in a spot in our house that like we haven't hardwired light for. So I, I have a few ideas that I'm kicking around with what to do with it. Um, it is a little bit damaged. It's got a few spots, like the stain was coming up. I'm debating whether to see if I can strip it and it all be light, like the light color, because that might be really pretty. Or if I should just try to maybe fill in the color in some way. I haven't really worked with wicker a lot, so we're gonna see how it goes and then we're gonna find a cute spot for it. And it's unique, right? So I forgot to include this because it was still in the wash when I made that video. Um, but it's just a cute little little baby pillow that clearly the lovely lady who lived at that home made herself at some point. But I just really like the fabric. Just thought it was really cute. So there's that. Woo! She's a big gal. I always struggle with art. When it comes to picking out art, I... I second guess, I third guess myself, I can never pick out art. And so this is one of the things that I ended up going back and getting today. I didn't get it yesterday, but I kept thinking about it. It's not, it's not an original, it's definitely a print, but I just thought it's moody. I don't usually do florals because I don't like to do anything too traditionally feminine, but I really do like poppies. And I thought it's nice and moody and it's, Lots of neutrals. I texted a picture of it to my husband because he is currently away. And he said, I don't hate it. So that's, that's pretty much all the green light I need to hang it up. Thankfully, he supports me decorating the way that brings me joy. If I hang it up and he hates it, we can take it down. You know, I'm not, I'm not absolutely deathly in love with it. I just thought it was really lovely. So it was listed for 25. I knew I didn't want to pay full 25 because I wasn't quite sure how I would feel once I brought it home. So I talked them down to 15, which I thought was a good price because it's huge anyway. The frame's not in perfect condition. I need to do just a little bit of work to it. It's just starting to pull apart in spots. It needs a super duper good cleaning. 15 bucks for pretty big art. I think we're gonna put it in the dining room, but that will definitely be another video. We actually have a second piece of artwork. I know, two pieces of art for me, that never happens. I never find anything I like. This I actually know that I love, and I knew that my husband would love it too. 
It's got a tag. Like, this is what it says. Original etching by Frederick Arthur Farrell. So I don't know if any of you art history people have heard of this person. I would absolutely love to know more. So if you do know anything about this artist, leave me a comment. Like, I would love to hear more about this. They even have, I'm going to show you the little card, so much information inside. I'll just tell you a tiny bit about it. So it's an etching. Interior Notre Dame Cathedral, 1914 to 1918. So I guess sometime between 1914 to 1918, they think this was created. I love having pieces like this in my house. I don't know about you. It just... I love having pieces with stories. I'm definitely going to be keeping this little note card with it. I'm just gonna like tape it to the back or something because I don't wanna lose it. And I love how architectural it is. Very excited about this guy. Oh, I ended up getting, they had it listed for 20 originally and then I talked them down to 10. So, thought that was a very good deal. Are you ready for the last piece? So I actually yesterday deep cleaned it. I once again pressure washed this guy because I was like, this is not coming inside of my house in its current condition. But the pressure washing was very fun. I'll definitely add some B-roll in here so you can see it because I don't know about y'all, but I love pressure washing. It's just so satisfying. This piece was kept outside for quite a while. I don't think, I think it was on like a more covered porch it seems like, but it was definitely in like an outdoor space for several years at least. We're gonna back up so that we can fit it in frame. Ta-da! They had quite a lot of chairs at this house in all different conditions. Tons of wicker, so much wicker, oh my God. But I saw this one and it's such like a unique shape. I just thought it was like a little bit more unique than some of the other rattan wicker pieces that you see. I got it for $5. So I'll show some close up of it. It definitely needs some work. Like I said, it was kept outside or like in an outdoor space for several years at least. So it's not in perfect condition. However, all of the main support of it is in great condition. Like this is all super sturdy. This stuff is all sturdy. It's all the caning. Some of the caning's fine, but a lot of the caning is starting to come loose. But conveniently, I happened to buy caning for a totally different project a long time ago that I ended up not doing. And it's been sitting in my closet for like months and months and months. I know that's weird and random that I have caning already sitting around. So I've already started watching some videos about how to do caning and fix like these corners and all of this stuff. So I think it'll be kind of a fun project to try to recane certain parts of it, but I just think it's so lovely. This is definitely going to be a project that I'm probably gonna share an entire video just on the process of redoing this. So that is it. So in total, I ended up spending about $51. <laughs> I'm very excited about every single piece. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would leave a comment and tell me what stuff you like that I got or what I should have gotten from that estate sale because there's plenty of stuff that I should have gotten. There was so much good stuff there. It means so much to me that you took the time out to watch this video. If you'd like to see more thrifting and estate sales, renovations, some DIYs, I'm going to be redoing this chair, then you can go ahead and subscribe. It would mean so 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 much to me and you can like this video but once again thank you so much for watching i had so much fun doing this and i hope it was fun to watch and i hope you have a lovely day